Hi, I'm going to talk about how to investigate the permeability of beetroot membranes using alcohol as your independent variable. Um, the first one we're going to look at is how to make actually the alcohol concentration result. So um, easy ones of course are just like 100% um, and 0% um, alcohol. So 0% is literally just water, so the distilled water. So we're going to use um, 5 centimetres cubed um, of distilled water. So the alcohol, of course, we're just going to use, uh, we're going to use an 80% alcohol solution. Now to do that, we're using 5 centimetres cubed. So if we want to make an 80% alcohol solution, we'll use 4 centimetres cubed of alcohol and 1 centimetre cubed of distilled uh, water. Okay, we'll make all the other solutions up right, um, using obviously diluting the, the alcohol with water uh, to make the other solutions up. Okay, now we've made up the various alcohol concentrations. So we've got a range going from zero, which of course is just distilled water, up to 80% alcohol, so in 20% increments. We've got to prepare the beetroot. We've cut the beetroot out of the same beetroot, okay, so that obviously controls to the variety of beetroot. Um, and of course the age of the beaver is now it's been stored um, into using a uh, core borer okay, so we're cut it into cylinders we're going to make sure all those cylinders right, are the same length we're going to use one centimetre long cylinders so we're going to cut that using the knife right, and using the ruler okay, we've made sure that there is no skin right, on the beet root Right, for each three, we're going to wash, we'll rinse it in water first of all, right, before we put it into the alcohol. The reason for that is that some of the cells become damaged right, during the cutting process. So if you can imagine the cells, when you cut through them with a core bore, right, it damages the membranes of the cells and therefore pigment leaks out, as you can see there. So we're going to wash the cells to make sure, wash the beetroot in pieces, to make sure that any pigment right, that is leaking out of those damaged cells comes out before we start using them in the experiment and therefore it makes our results much more reliable. And we'll leave those in for just a couple of minutes. Okay. We'll just cut a couple more. Okay, when you think they've been in for long enough, okay, if you look around them, you might see a bit of pigment around the outside. Okay, just give them a little bit of a rinse round. Then take them out okay, and check that they've actually been rinsed thoroughly by putting them into another glass of distilled water. And if you see any pigment still leaking out of them, then obviously need longer to be rinsed. Okay. Once they've done that and they're thoroughly rinsed, as these are, okay, then you can put them into the alcohol. Right, we'll leave them in there for about 20 minutes. Okay, after the experiment is run for 20 minutes, okay, you need to remove the beetroot okay, to obviously stop pigment leaking into the, um, into the alcohol concentrations. Right? Then you need to measure the intensity of the red coloration right, that's leaked out right, using a colorimeter. To do that, you first need to put a reference into the colorimeter to set it um, so that it's got something to compare to. To do that, you take a cuvette, 
Okay, and put, fill it with water, four centimeters cubed of water. Right, placed in the, uh, in the colorimeter so that the arrow faces towards the R, right, and then press R for referencing it, and that gives you a zero setting. Then take your solution, we're going to start with the naught, right, place it in the beaker so it's easier just to get it out. Right, and draw it up through the syringe and place it in your empty cuvette. Repeat. So we've got four centimeters cubed. This time pressing T okay, to get a result. Okay, in this case, 0.49. We'll repeat that for the other concentrations, and of course, we'll do the experiment again to repeat for reliability. We'll do it twice more in order to be able to get an average for each different concentration.